I was at this conference July the 11th, 2019, handed out a lot of information, the proper information. At the conference, there's all kinds of misinformation being given out. And I got escorted out by the inspector of the police department, John Lyons, before the soiree happened at the end of the conference. <laughs> he shakes my hand. He says, Gary, follow me to the car. I'll get you out of town. Then I tell him a little story. And he says, Gary, give me a bump. Because every police officer has first aid and knows what Peterborough is teaching people is dead wrong. Anyway, it was too much fun. Shakes my hand and then gives me a floater out of town trying to save his life. <laughs> There's hundreds of cause of breathing emergency and you better give him some air ASAP. Because the doctor can't tell what's causing a breathing emergency. And the signs are all the same as overdose. <laughs> yeah, there's Joe Cato, the Ontario Chiefs of Police, had a little conversation because the Chiefs of Police have training up all the signs of breathing emergency. Then it says call 911, start chest compressions. <laughs> oh, yeah. And every Rookie cop knows that's wrong. Please show up with the ambulance EMS all the time. People give it oxygen, rescue breathing, because cardiac arrest is a very rare event. This is the, some of the information that was given. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, right? <laughs> Before I went there and asked the pharmacist, because anybody can pick up a kit. They're free in the province. So I went over there. I talked to the librarians. Apparently the librarians in Peterborough got the proper training. So this is what I gave. They gave me an Loxone kit. And this insert, this has been around for a long time. It's from U of Waterloo. <laughs> yeah, all the signs of any breathing emergency. Oh, man. That's... This is the professor, Kelly Jindrod. She's awake. <laughs> First class pharmacy school. What to do for a poisoning or a drug overdose? It's give the mayor ASAP. You're not allowed in the lab not knowing that. <laughs> and if your heart stops because of a respiratory emergency, it's because you're brain dead. Shoppers also gave me this. It's from the Ministry of Health. <laughs> Ah, yeah, give naloxone. No. Step three is stabilize the patient first for a hundred sound medical reasons. And every pharmacist knows that. Then it's got before rescue breeding and or chest compressions. Never, never, never chest compressions only. Never, never. It jumps to advanced cardiac life support because brain death and multiple organ system failure has caused the cardiac arrest in the first place. <laughs> Lack of oxygen, yes sir, that's what causes you and your heart to stop from a breathing emergency. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten locked so you just give them rescue breathing, keeps the patient alive indefinitely. Just recovery position, very, very bad, very bad. <laughs> and this big poster here, right up at the sign-in desk. There's a sign-in, big one, oh, it was big, 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 like six foot tall and three feet wide. And it's got these organizations. This is PARN. This is people that deal with people who have HIV and Hep C, eh? So they know if a person with a compromised immune system suffers any respiratory emergency and doesn't receive prompt respiratory assist, the pre-existing condition is compounded. <laughs> they all know that. It's, it's a no-brainer. This is wallet cards they were giving out to everybody. Stick this in your wallet just to remind you. It's just, there, you gotta do all this to a person who's alive. And then it's got first aid, but it's showing chest compressions. Chest compressions is not first aid. First aid is for sprains, ankles, breathing emergencies. Something simple. Chest compressions is a whole different training certificate.
<laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you betcha. AED's a different training certificate. And, and so this is what I gave a lot of people. This is from the Ontario Poison Control Center. There's over 50,000 people poisoned per year in this province. 28,000 of them are children. And they all get breeding. Doesn't matter what poison. <laughs> breeding. 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 So you do it. They're the experts. Hey, okay. yeah. See, they just got two milligrams in naloxone. Four milligrams is small dose. 0.4 milligrams. Because the one in that nasal thing, that's four milligrams. That's a massive dose. You're going to make one hell of a sick patient doing that. And, yes, yeah, sir. Sure. And this is what happens if you've had a cardiac arrest. From a respiratory emergency. Advanced cardiac life support methods. Got to open up the chest, massage the heart, vasopressors. Oh, it's a mess. Because <laughs> the chances of survival is so very slim. Yes, sir. The paddles, the whole nine yards, boy, I'm telling you. Your heart stops secondary to respiratory arrest. Big trouble. This is. St. John Ambulance, it's always been this way. Humans have known about it since the dawn of humankind. It's in the Old and New Testament. That's just plain common sense. Got a breathing problem. What do you think, George? Hmm? I don't know. He's turning blue. What do you think that's from? I don't know. And there's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency, illness, or injury. Anyway. Draw a wank, you know that, eh? <laughs> Yeah, that's just a parcel of this. You gotta breathe or you die. Uh, let's see, John's ambulance. It's never changed, never will. Breathing emergency. <laughs> you get taught that in Boy Scouts and Girl Guides for your first age badge. These are the signs, same signs as drug overdose. Anyway, you found a non beaten heart. Uh, this is Daryl Gibbon, that uh, is an emergency physician. He was at the legislature May the 16th. Told him over and over again, it's rescue breathing. And this here is Natalie Consandova. She's an RN, also an MPP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, RN see a thousand respiratory patients before they ever run the cardiac arrest. They know exactly what to do. <laughs> That's what they first get trained. In nursing school, yes, sir. How to change your bedpan? Second class is first aid, rescue breeding, because a nurse is going to see thousands and thousands of breeding emergencies. Second nature to a nurse, breeding emergency. Yeah, this is the gathering of eagles. United States medical directors, doctors, one from every state, top and bill. 2018. I was at the 2014 conference and showed them what they're doing up here in Canada. He said, holy Jesus, they're killing everybody. <laughs> you betcha. 2014, my comments were right up on this big screen. <laughs> they all go, what the hell is that? <laughs> anyway, it's a breathing emergency. You better give them some air ASAP. Because your blood chemistry goes toxic, which is killing every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. Lack of oxygen. That's why you turn blue. It proves your jeevers. Hypercapnia, high, low sugar, potassium. Oh, it's killing you all. Better give them some oxygen, and then they turn back color again. Yes, sir. And blue is very bad. Very, very bad. And it's terrorism. Plain and simple. Deny what a five-year-old child should know. Breathing emergency, huh? What do you what do they think they call a breathing emergencies for? I don't know. I don't know, George. What the hell is breathing? Don't need to breathe, do you? Well, apparently not, because they thought millions to kill you all and they're doing it. 